You know what I genuinely find humorous? Um, I genuinely... <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm at home because I am sick. Oh, yes, I know. I know. Sick again. Um, and as we all know, we are in the middle of a <clears throat> pandemonium here. <clears throat> so you can't leave. Um, and I've just clocked out of work because I can work remote. Yay. Um, and that also means that all I can do now is sit here in my house or apartment that was really like house fishing you guys. I, this is not a house. Anyway, I've been on TikTok. I know, I know, I know. I can hear you mocking me. That one person who always comments on my videos. I know they're mocking me right now. And I just want to say that I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I just didn't know what to do. Um, so this little video here is about how TikTok is a disease. Um, it is. And um, all of you guys, including myself, are literally being, like, fed. All no, just kidding. It's not that bad. I mean, just like everything else, it's good in moderation. Yeah, TikTok can be vastly distracting, but that's only if you don't know how to use it in moderation. I would wait, rank TikTok up there next to McDonald's, TikTok, and alcohol. Uh... <laughs> They're all the same kind of bad. Everything's good in moderation. Um, and TikTok is uh, blessing us with a lot of different music genres. There's a lot of songs that I would not know if not for TikTok. Um, which includes everything Olivia Rodrigo. Just being honest here. Um, Tate McRae, You Broke Me First. Um... There's more, I promise. It's just those are the ones that are really getting me. Um, yeah. A lot of people will straight up just tell me, I'm I'm getting a TikTok because I'm like addicted to TikTok. Why be addicted to TikTok when you can just not be addicted to TikTok? I feel like it's not that hard. When making the choice... To be addicted to TikTok or not to be addicted to TikTok, you should always choose the latter. I was about to, like, drop this finger that wasn't going to be good for monetization. Just kidding. It's not really happening at this point. I, that'd be fun. Just 0 0.00001 cents every day. Yeah. Another thing is Instagram, like, social media, just everything. Everything social media. This is what we're going to talk about right now. Um, people will always tell me, I'm, like, getting off social media because, like, I've become addicted to it. And then they get off of it and usually last anywhere, um, statistically, I want to say three days. They get back on it, they fall back into their same cycles, and then they say the same things over and over and over again. I'm getting off of social media because I'm addicted to social media. And then they do it again, and it happens again, and it happens again. But smart people, yes, I said it, that means there are people who aren't smart doing this. Um, smart people limit their use regardless. Smart people prioritize, like, every single day. I, Sorry, Monday through Friday. I know there are labor, labor laws against what I was about to say. Um, but Monday through Friday... <laughs> Um, you best believe my number one priority is, like, work. Nothing besides, like, a few things interferes with work. You best believe TikTok does not take precedent over work. No social media does. And then, next priority, that's crazy, it's gym, if it's, like, a workout day. TikTok or Instagram, or Snapchat, or, like, whatever, does not take, is not higher on my scale list of things to do than, like, work is, or working out. They all fall into, like, these subcategories. But y'all can't do that for some reason. Y'all bleed everything over into all parts of your life. There's no set time for this, this, this. There's no schedule. I will... 
probably be the last person to write it down. Like, write what I'm about to do down. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't work out like that. But, I will take a mental note. And I know it's less effective, and I know that when you write things down, you can remember them more. But, some of y'all can't do either. Y'all just let everything bleed over. Like, you let your social media time, your, like, your TikTok time, whatever it is, just everything... <clears throat> I'm in the house alone. I can cough into open air. It's fine. <clears throat> Y'all letting everything bleed over. You have your social media time just clash into your work time or like your that clash into your workout time or your cleaning time, whatever it is. You're just letting it all happen all at the same time. So my advice to you Set aside time to do everything you need to do. I was on Reddit earlier today. And I was like, just scrolling to Reddit. You know how it works. You Sorry. My computer's a touch screen. I wasn't using my phone. I need to read big words. I need to be able to like be like, yes! That says minimalist. Right? I need to be able to do that. But some of y'all... Sorry, I wasn't coming at you guys again. I was supposed to be telling you what I was reading on Reddit. Um, and this guy was like, I never, I can't, like, find the motivation or time to do everything I want to do. So I, like, slid into his DMs or PMs. Is it DMs, direct message, or private message for Reddit? Someone come tell me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um, so I slid into whatever it is. PMs, DMs, whatever. Um... And I was like, yo, hi, um, I noticed that you were having problems with X, Y, Z, like, you want to talk about it or whatever? And then, like, <laughs> he kind of, like, was the poster child for <laughs> doing things not on time. Because I responded, like, two minutes after this thread was posted, and a whole <laughs> ten hours later, I would say, he responded. And he was like, I just, I have so much to do, like, I have school and I have to clean my room so naturally I, I had to know how old this person was so I phrased it in a roundabout way I was like yo how old are you they were like late high school like late by late I mean like they're 18 they were like an adult um, and somehow you can't find time to do school and clean your room. I mean, I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that your room is tiny or, um, average. Either or. Like, you don't live in a room that dirty. Like, you don't need to spend hours cleaning your room. It doesn't need to happen. It just doesn't. And if you can't clean your room and do your school, natural selection is coming for you. But you can. The reason why you feel like you can is because you're not setting aside time to do what you need to do. If you set aside time to do everything you needed to do, I think that you would find your entire life is a lot more manageable. Like, just everything. I was in college. Uh, spring. And I still found time to work out a little bit. It wasn't all the time. Um, full-time job. More than full-time. It was like 55 plus hours a week. And a full load of coursework as well. I found time to do everything. So what's your excuse? Exactly, you ain't got none. So here's what we're going to do. You're not going to have an excuse anymore. You're going to actually sit down, and you're going to do your work, and you're going to schedule everything, and you're going to figure it out. Because if you don't, I'm going to find you, and I'm going to text you. I'm going to be like, hey, I know you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And that's literally exactly how it's going to work. If you have a problem with that, there's nothing you can do. 
Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I rabbit trail. And I've refused to edit my videos at this point, so I'm literally going to post them exactly how I take them. And if you have a problem with that, well, you can clean your room, do your chores, and, like, everything involved, and then talk to me about it. And chances are I probably wouldn't care either. So, bye.